uh, Hoots from Berlin, where I have Glory Hammer with me. Uh, you started your uh, The Rise of Chaos Wizards tour from uh, sold out Hamburg yesterday and continue to uh, sold out Berlin today. So how did the tour kick off for you guys? What better tour start could you ask for? It's pretty cool and uh, there are more sold out shows coming. Uh, we have we don't have the all the numbers of the shows yet, but I'm quite sure it will be at least six. Yeah, London sold out, yeah. Cyclone sold out. I think there's a few other Grenoble sold out, but we haven't announced it yet. But like, I'm quite happy that we started the tour in Hamburg. They they know how to party there. They they know the drill. When we play a show, they know exactly what to do. Um, hence why I feel so shit today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too drinking. much party. Yeah, yeah. Stayed up drinking too late. I feel really bad. Um, yeah, that's it. I, feel, I think that's probably a pretty normal start to the tour. Yeah, until we were on stage and he's fine again. Until <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and what expectations do you have for the battles ahead? Well, if every show will be like uh, yesterday, we're, we'll be quite happy, I guess. Because people in Hamburg are always very, very open to our music, it seems. So it has always been a great uh, pleasure to play there. So um, I think, yeah, yeah, since the first time we were there, right? But Berlin's always good as well. I'm trying to remember where we've actually even played in Berlin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. This venue's quite interesting. I mean, it's sold out. It should be pretty um, squashed downstairs. Um, the stage is very small. So I think it'd be quite intimate with uh, people probably leaning over the front of the stage. But um, I can't remember what the question was. The question was, what are your <laughs> expectations? What are my expectations uh, are? A lot of alcohol, a lot of parties, crazy Germans. Not a lot of Germans. There's a lot of German shows. Yes. Which is why we obviously like it, otherwise we wouldn't keep coming back. Um, I mean, my, I think the the best thing we can do is just sell out more shows. That's my expectation for the tour, to sell out every show. So keep coming, boys and girls. <laughs> so how would you describe the um, interaction between the audience on your gigs? Or, you know, audience meaning goblins in this case, I guess. Um, and how important are live performances for you? What performances? A live performance. Live performance. Yeah, yeah. Well, live performances. Well, of course, it's the most important part of Gloryham because we write the songs always uh, with the with the with the life feeling back in our minds. It'd be, it'd be total shit. It's like we we've had it before. Like it doesn't really happen anymore. But like you know, I remember back a while ago. It's like some places where we turn we hadn't played them before, and you'd turn up and. You know, you'd play like an hour-long set of people just stood there with their arms crossed, not say, you know, not doing anything for like an hour or something like that. Where was that? I, I think it was like Switzerland once, that weird festival we played. Oh, well. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that happened. It did, it did happen a few times and like, yeah, like interaction from the audience is pretty important. I think, I, I think like as long as we're enjoying it, like we can, you know, as long as everyone's enjoying it, I think that's when we play play our best. Like, you know, if it, if everyone's sort of being boring, things like that, it's usually not very fun for us either. Yeah, so. luckily, luckily most of the times, it's like a, a huge party on yeah, stage. I mean, like I said, it hasn't happened for a long time now. Like, yeah. uh, you know. And then the, that time. will be also um, a really important thing for the next album, to write songs that are perfect to play live. Because um, Glory Hammer lifts from playing uh, songs live and from party, of course. People are coming to shows because they want to have fun, they want to party, and they want to hoot, you know. That's why. Okay, so you mentioned the next album. So <laughs> when is it coming out? And would you mind spoiling the title, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. I wish I could answer this question. Actually, um, we're working on, on new songs. Um, and I hope I hope it will come out very soon. Mm -hmm. I have no idea because it all depends a bit on uh, on our keyboarder Chris. Well, 
it's not just like we're we're all writing bits and bobs at the moment. The, the important thing is that we're happy with it because obviously the last album did so well, and you know people really like the songs. We really like the songs. It doesn't really make sense to rush out something that's shit because yeah. <laughs> you know it's like. Glory Hammer's new album, oh, it's crap. So, you know, we're, we're, we're taking our time with it just to make sure it is good. And, uh, there yeah, are people enjoy. There's a few, there's a few already, songs. yeah, a few really good songs that, uh, that I'm sure everyone will enjoy on it. But uh, it's just getting the rest of it together now. For a title, there isn't one. Uh, yeah, it's too early for that. <laughs> yeah. I think the title will be the last thing we do. Yeah, probably. But, um, of course, we have a lot of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a lot of ideas for the new album, and they always they keep changing. You know, uh, the the themes of the the subject of the album is changing. But um, yeah, maybe you've heard of laser shooting dinosaurs and uh, that kind of stuff. So it will be a quite crazy album again. I'm quite sure about that. Yeah, uh, talking about your latest album, you are playing it tonight in its entri entirety. So what led to this decision to play the latest album? Back to finish. We only have two albums. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we only have two albums, and it, uh, this is the latest one. Uh, Setless is yeah, no, it's no secret. Yeah, it's, it's got, it's got like um, a few songs on it that we never played live before. Um, so hopefully, people will enjoy hearing them for a change. Because I mean, when because we only have two albums, you know, sometimes it's quite hard to mix things up. Uh, so you know it's different all the time instead of just turning up and doing the same set all the time so because because this album had done so well and people enjoyed it where we thought it'd be fun for us to just do the whole thing start to finish really and then just throw throwing a few bangers at the end exactly that's what we did with the first album when we were on tour we had to play the whole album through yeah. you know and, <laughs> and now it's the same with the second one it's actually the first time we played the whole album through and plus of course the best songs of the of the first album that people await when they come to the shows like uh, Unicorn Invasion or Angus McFive. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing these songs because um, especially one song that I've written is played play the first time, actually. I don't know why this is. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to play this song. Exactly. That's why the ones we never play it, Tom wrote it. I actually quite I quit. No, I, 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 I don't know why we haven't been playing it, to be honest. I actually quite enjoy playing it. So, no, you're all right, Tom. Well, uh, your band virtually uh, screams for metal opera, so do you have plans to make your live performances even more bombastic than this? And how long would you guys be willing to take it? I know tonight you are playing in a very small stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, like going to a bigger stage, you know, how uh, big could it get? When Do we have the musical of uh, Glory Hammer? They, they don't even like, uh, the problem with this venue, they don't even have enough power to we can't we we can't use any of the lights and the smoke cannons or anything that we brought with us we've got a big new backdrop we can't use it we um it's harsh yeah yeah it's, it's a bit of a but you know for for the future i think there is no really there's, there's no border i think i think we talked about doing it with an orchestra once but then i think we're they, they'd probably get annoyed playing with us <laughs> <laughs> the goblin orchestra of dundee um no but uh uh, of course, when we when we uh, have an, the next album out, I guess uh, also fees will grow, and so we can have a higher budget for live shows. You know, money. Yeah, as, as, mo as more money there's in the in the yeah, play, invest, we'll I have. Mean, that's, that's what you do, isn't it? It's like you we'll get bigger, invest you invest it back in the band, and hopefully do something crazy. Maybe we can employ a full time goblin. Probably a whole goblin army. Yeah, well, you know? maybe maybe a few goblins yeah. to uh, do goblin. Things, <laughs> well, goblins do, you know. Um, yeah, I'd also like to have some some live video uh, projection or something like that. That'd be pretty yeah, cool. cool. I think they're the only other people I've seen really do that. Was uh, Luca Torelli's Rhapsody oh, yeah, Experience or whatever he calls it, and they've got like all the screens. Well, I swear it's like the same trailer over and over again or something that he plays. I don't know. Yeah, it's, a, it's years since I saw him. I remember thinking it was cool. There are a lot of things we could do. We could also have a real dragon on stage or something like that. That would be cool. I'd, buy, I'd, I'd pay for that. <laughs> uh, going to your terrifying narration, where does the 
inspiration for the story come from? Oh, well, I think it all uh, came to came to us in a crazy dream. <laughs> Wet dreams, you mean? <laughs> yeah, a crazy sweaty dream. That's uh... actually uh, the ideas are just developing um, throughout the, the entire process of writing the album, and mostly the ideas change a lot, as I already mentioned. Um, Chris is a specialist in this uh, thing. When he has a good idea, I'll think, oh, it's pretty good. And then two days later, it's already a different idea, idea that he wants to do. Um, sometimes it's a bit pity because there's so many good ideas that haven't been uh, banned on the album yet, that aren't on the album. So I think there's a lot of good stuff coming up for future things, for future projects. And now we just have to, to keep writing new songs so we can uh, fasten up this process, you know. Okay, so, uh, let's talk about the uh, cult of hoots. It's, uh, it's a bit, bit of a fresh, uh, fresh thing still, but seems like already you have a very active uh, fan base, and uh, they have their own language, of course. You know all the hoots and everything. So, uh, how uh, how closely do you guys interact with your fans? Well, um, actually, I I always read a lot of comments, and um, I never I never um, write to people, but I read them, and it's always really nice, as you as you said. It's really nice to see that they develop their own ideas of how the story of Glory Hammer actually could could have been or could develop. So um, that's interesting to see. And uh, I always wonder how how creative those people are. They they're making their own fan art. They're making their own uh, stories. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think th I think we're a pretty friendly band. Like interacting with fans, it's like mo most times we play a show and I don't have to leave early. I'll just find someone in the crowd and go drinking with them. <laughs> for, <laughs> like, yeah, it's like that that guy. <laughs> there was some guy crowd surfing to the stage over and over again last night, and he was like, "Oh, don't you remember we met?" And I was like, "No." He was like, "Apparently, I'd gone to the wrong hotel with Mike, across the wrong side of Hamburg, and we just met him drinking." Was and, it uh, uh, near Herbertstrasse? <laughs> I don't know where it was, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I like that place. Uh -huh. But the um, yeah, like uh, I woke up the other morning and uh, Chris had started some fan page called Cult of Hoot, and I, I get notifications for it all the time, and I read them. Some pretty interesting stuff there. <laughs> yeah. People got a lot of crazy ideas. Maybe we'll steal some of them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for our next album, probably will. Get the uh, fans to write it for us. I don't know. It's a it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We can quicken up the process. I like our fans. They're all right. <laughs> so for this tour, the northest you are going is London. So uh, where are you? When are you guys gonna visit the Nordic countries? I've asked that question. I've asked that question quite a lot of times. Like, um, I think the only what did we play? We played Sweden Rock on our first album. That was ages ago. That was really cool. And we played House of Metal, which was in Umea. Is that right? Yeah. In Sweden? Yeah. Okay. And that's it, isn't it? Like, I, I think there's demand there. Oh, like, I think, you know... We played Finland, didn't we? No. No, we played Estonia. We went past Finland on the, on the way there. But we, we haven't played Finland. We played Denmark. Denmark. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why we don't play there more. Maybe maybe someone should ask us to come. <laughs> if you ask us, yeah, we'll come. I'm I sure. <laughs> Have they? I don't know. Well, we we don't see all the offers. Actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, so. I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll blame someone else. Yeah, let's blame. I'd them. like to okay. go there. I'd like to go to Sweden. I really like um, the Scandies. I lived in Denmark for a little bit. That was all right. I'd like to go back yeah. to Sweden Rock. Really yeah, cool that was cool. Um. Anyway, so I'm also looking forward to uh, the London gig because the not only that it's the last show of the tour, <laughs> but it's actually the place where we first met. Yep, it is. First we'll be, we'll, yeah, like a homecoming or something like that. Because um, <laughs> like, yeah, we did it. Five years ago, I went there and had no idea how crazy those people were that I meet, you know, there. And we had a photo shooting for the for the first album there, in this venue, in the O2 Islington. So that will be pretty cool then. All right, I think that's actually everything for tonight. Uh, well, 
Uh, well, uh, about the new album, maybe not, but uh, we'll get them in time. So thank you very much, guys, and, well, hoots. <laughs>